everyone, Cheryl here with a video um, using the Cottage Cuts flower cluster. And so this is the flower that I'm going to be making today. And this one's still drying. Um, and so you can see, I went ahead and airbrushed it. And so the things that um, I'm going to be using are, are the Copic markers, some scrap dots, tacky glue, two of the flower clusters, and one of the stems, and then some pearls. And so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do is I'm going to use the BV00 and just do some airbrushing on that to get the lighter color. And hopefully you can see that. Okay. So now I've done the lighter color, and now I'm going to come in with um, the BV08, and that's a blue-violet, and I'm just going to do around the edges of this. Oh, now my machine, now this is doing it all spotted. It wasn't doing that earlier. Ah. Okay. Well, this one's going to be more spotted. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and do the stem in G24. Whoops. And this one probably needed to be filled. I knew it did. Wait. Yep. I hate when that happens. I should have got it ready or had it ready. There we go. Okay. And so now I'm done with my um, machine. Those. So now the next thing I'm going to do is pick the ones that I want to be on the top. And I'm thinking I'm going to use this one. And all I do now is, let me see if I can get this in a little closer, is I'm just going to cut around the flowers. And they don't have to be perfect because I'm going to be um, putting them, you know, bending them up and then putting them underneath one another. So, let's see. Start at this end. There's one. That one goes there. I guess it doesn't matter. You can kind of just fit them in. And well, okay. Some of them you can go ahead and just round them a little bit if you need. And then the others you're just going to hide. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm hoping this is in close enough, is just take them and, and bend them up, the little flowers. So kind of like that, and then bend that one, just bend the petals up a little bit. This one, I, oh, I should have fixed the pressure on that, on the um, air compressor. It made it really spotted. My first, my sample one didn't spot too much, but, oh well, that's okay. So once you have them all um, bent up, now you're just going to kind of put this together like a little puzzle. And I'm going to be using the scrap dots. Um, this is one of my favorite glues to use when I'm working with flowers. And so, whoops. 
let's go ahead and start with this one. I just put a little bit on the bottom. And then just start putting the pieces together. So I think I'm going to put this one here. You just kind of pick and choose where you're going to put, you know, the flowers. The ones that are um, kind of cut off straight, you can just stick those like underneath another one. And this one's a little one. I'm thinking it's probably going to go here. I like how it gives um, the dimension on this. Okay, and if you have some tweezers, you can kind of come in and move them around if you need. Okay, so here's another one. Whoops. Now, I like keeping um, on your cottage cuts when you um, put your foam on your die. I like to keep these. Um, the reason is when you're doing some gluing on flowers, I always just stick, stick them on there. They tend to not stick to um, this backing on the shiny side. And so now I'm going to go ahead and add my stem. And I'm using just a tacky glue on, on this. And so just kind of lift that up. Whoops, sorry. Hopefully this is all being seen in my <laughs> video. Okay, and then the next step is to add some pearls. And so I'm going to take, and what I do now is I'm going to take the tacky glue and add the pearls. And so I just put a dab of glue on each of the centers and you don't need very much so just enough I do this only because I don't know if you've ever noticed but when you whoops that was a lot when you've had a card or you give a card sometimes the pearls come off even the sticky ones so I always reinforce them with um, some of the tacky glue and then just go ahead and put those in the centers of all the little flowers and I think this just gives a nicer look. Whoop. Okay, that needs a little more glue. Well. That one for some reason is not wanting to stay. I might have to come back and do that. It's kind of hard when you're ah, doing a video. I want to make sure you could see. I'm hoping... Okay, and super fun to do these, um, especially with the airbrushing. I really enjoy using the cottage cuts and doing the airbrushing with them. And there you have another flower cluster. So now I have two two flower clusters and I hope you enjoyed today's video on the cottage cuts flower clusters and thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time